Hi, my name is Mrs. Parks, and I wanted to make an introduction video to introduce myself to all of you. Um, I will be your sixth grade social studies and health literacy teacher, and I'm looking forward to meeting every one of you and uh, having a unforgettable sixth grade year. I'm sure of it. Um, I spend a lot of time out on my acreage, so that's why I'm outside. Um, I'm outside every chance I get. I love to be outside. Um, I'm oftentimes gardening, and I'll show you my garden in a minute. Um, I'm also with my cat, who just crawled in the back of my golf cart. She's kind of shy. Her name is Holly. I also have one named Jane, and I'm not sure where Jane is. Holly, can you come up here? Come here. Oh, let's see. Maybe she'll be here for a minute. Yeah, I don't know. I'll probably have to find them and take a little better picture of them after a bit. Uh, yeah, I have two cats, Holly and Jane, and a golf cart, and an acreage, and a garden. Um, let's go see the garden. Do very many of you have a garden? I love the garden. I love flowers, and I love the garden, and I love my kitties, and yeah, just pretty much being outside. So I'm going to take you around and show you my garden. So I'm going to have to um, flip this. I don't know if I have to flip this from selfie or not. I'm still not very good at all this, so I'm going to try. Okay. Um, no, I think I just took a picture. I'm not sure. So I will just go stand by my garden. This is my strawberry bed. And we had to fence it in because the deer ate all of my strawberries. This is my raspberry patch. And I have lots and lots of red raspberries. I've picked them off every day for a long time last couple of or month anyway and now they're starting to grow again so they're almost done producing for a while these are cherry tomatoes this is more cherry tomato plants than any one person ever needs broccoli butternut squash it's one of those my flowers, love my flowers. Pepper plants, a very, very tall sunflower. I'm going to stand in front of my tall sunflower. We don't know how tall it is. It was volunteering down here and it just started growing, so we let it. So anyway, I'll let you know when we measure it. You could take guesses and tell me how tall you think my sunflower plant is. Okay, here we go, continue on. Uh, watermelon, anybody like watermelon? We grow watermelons, there's one right there. Lots of cucumbers. That's a gourd plant. This is a gourd plant. These cute little gourds in there are growing. I'll bring them in the classroom this summer or winter. Fall, sorry. More cucumbers. Spices. We have oregano and chives and sage and basil. Tomatoes. Lots for salsa. Yay, salsa. I love salsa. Salsa and chips. Salsa is very healthy for you, by the way. Lots of red cabbage. We've eaten the green cabbage. Here's yellow beans. Those are cauliflower plants down there. Here's peas. These used to be giant orange poppies, about that tall, but they have died off. They'll come back next year. This is a lilac tree. These are green beans. I need to pick green beans again. I'll be out here today. Onions. Potatoes. Carrots. 
More flowers. Broccoli. Parsnips. Does anybody know what a parsnip is? I will bring one in when they're ready and I will show them to you and they're really good. Uh, zucchini. There's one hiding. Yes, they produce really well. I gave eight of them away this morning to Mrs. Reese and Mrs. Edel. Rhubarb and pumpkins. Now, that's my garden, and that's where I spend most of my summer. Uh, weeding, picking, and then I freeze everything, or I put it in jars. So I can and I freeze all of those vegetables and things. So, yeah, I'm one of those people. Here's my uh, flower bed of mostly pink cone flowers, but I think they're so pretty. It's a beautiful day today. Just beautiful. Here comes Holly. Hi, girl. She really likes rolling around. She's kind of a camera ham. She likes to have her picture taken. Okay, while I'm out walking, I'll just show you one area of my house called the bowl. The bowl is interesting. They moved this house from another location many, many years ago. And they lowered it down in, and I somehow got it off the trailer. And so this is how they did it. And then they left this big dugout area. So now it's all planted with flowers and things just grow in here. And I, I weed it. But there are stepping stones. And it's just an interesting little place. So I'll try and show this to you. I don't know how well this is working. I'll check it later. I've let all of those... Uh, milkweed grow across the way. I tried to show them for the monarch butterflies. And if you have the ability to do that, you ought to too. Okay, I'm going to come back around and go back to my golf cart where I began. Um, this is the front of my house. And all of these bushes we put in this year when we built a deck. Your teacher, Mrs. Parks, used power tools. I used an impact wrench. My husband helped me. It was awesome. So this is the deck that we built and the furniture on it. Well, we didn't build the furniture. We bought that. So I've enjoyed being outside. Some more flowers. and the cat. This is our old garage that we keep the animals in and the lawnmower and just all of that other stuff that you end up having when you're old. Well, everybody has stuff, but this is where our stuff goes. Old garage, more flowers. This is our backyard and it's a stone path that I made uh, through the years. We'd pick up flat rocks different places and lay them down. Um, really the cats are the only one that come back and walk on it, but I think it's kind of pretty. So this is just everything out back here. I'm hearing a noise in my garage and it has me curious. Okay, so I'm kind of scared. Do you want to go on an adventure with me? I don't think I want to go. We get birds caught in there sometimes and they can't, yeah, I think that's what it is. Um, I'm going to open up the door and be brave, and maybe this, hopefully it's a bird, can get out. 
on, birdie. Okay, enough adventurousness for me for one day. I'm going back to the golf cart now. And I'll end this long video of your teacher-to-be. Um, I hope that you guys have your own stories to share because I'm all about sharing who we are, what we like to do, things like that. Before I get on, I'd like you to see my vintage golf cart. Um, I don't think there are too many of these around. This is a, probably a 1980s model of Easy Go Golf Court in lime green. I think it kind of reminds me of the Pope Mobile. Um, it's got a nice sheet of plexiglass windshield and everything. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go riding off down my driveway. It's about a quarter of a mile long. And uh, that's another thing I like to do is just drive my golf cart or walk my gravel roads and driveway. All right. Looking forward to seeing you this year and hearing about who you are. Bye. See you all soon.